See, as you can see, the more you fuck around, the more you're going to find out. And also, if you stay down here and you never fuck around, you'll never find out. And just here's some examples of some of the blow buys on Luka causing the Dallas Mavericks defense to always be in recovery mode. As right here in transition, we'll see Tatum blow by Kyrie and Luka tries to at first try to take a charge. Now he just tries to do some lightweight contesting. Dallas all season has been one of the worst teams as far as rim protection. But after the All-Star break, they actually improved. And we've seen it play out in the OKC, the Clippers series, and also in the T-Wolves series. But they had poor rim protection all season. And it's... But it seems like they kind of fell back to their pre-All-Star look. When PJ and Gafford first arrived and was trying to get in sync with the team, they kind of fell back down to earth dealing with this five spread out offense. And here's a perfect example of Luka dealing with the spacing as Drew Holiday right here is going to do a ghost screen. He's going to pop out. Not only he's a threat from out here, he could attack. So we're going to see Luka try to deal with all the spacing right here on the recovery. At first, he was expecting the screen. Now on the ghost. He pops out see luke on the recovery a little bit slow on it and now drew's gonna attack and yeah, drew's been killing them all game long tatum once again way too easy to get by luca and catches jones jr right in the restricted area just luca all game long has been an easy point to break down this dallas defense and just always having them at a point to recover to be in recovery mode so Kyrie started off this game cooking in that first quarter going four or five from the field but the Celtics did a great job making sure that the Mavs didn't have any shots from three especially at those corners and they began to make things difficult for Kyrie starting in that second quarter and I gotta say my man Drew Holiday took full advantage of Kyrie and Luka getting killed on those closeouts as he killed the Mavericks going eight for eight in the restricted area Looking like Joel and B down there and just fully dominating. The Mavericks are just not used to an offense this spread out with multiple guys being a threat from the mid range all the way to the low post in all five positions. So when we hear about the chatter of Jason Tatum is not averaging a certain amount of points, he's really playing according to the flow of the game. And that really involves his playmaking ability. The fact that he got seven assists in the second quarter alone He's playing with much more poise than he did in the previous finals in 2022 going up against the Golden State Warriors where he kept settling. He's more on the attack. He's more poised. And we're seeing a more polished version of Jason Tatum. And for the most part, a lot of the judgment he's been receiving has actually been sort of misdiagnosed. 